Hey, it's Cam. As many of you have recalled the last week's video, which I kind of time got by on me with this week, and I ended up posting it on Wednesday rather than Saturday, Sunday, or Monday of last week. And in a way, that's how this week went. It was very, very fast. I did do topiary, if you were wondering. Um, I couldn't, I can't really tell you which topiaries I actually did, but the, what I did do was I removed some, some topiaries there. The moss was from last year, so I had to remove that. And with that, I had to put in, um, any new moss, because there's two different types of moss that was being used in some of these. The, like, core of a topiary pretty much is sphagnum moss, which is this, like, almost tan-looking moss. Um, it almost feels fluffy and soft, like you could make a pillow out of it and sleep pretty well. Um, and with some of these, the sphagnum moss was so old that it kind of was deteriorating, and I had to stuff more in, so I did that. Some, I just had to put new moss in because some of the old moss was falling out or crumbling. And others, I had to put plants in or I had to trim the plants. Uh, many of the flowering plants were, the flowers are the color that is being shown. We had to snip off it and pull off any flowers we saw, as well as flower buds, because the Flower and Garden Festival isn't until, I think it's like middle of March like early middle March. So right now we don't want flowers. We want it to grow as big as possible so it covers up any dead spots where you can see the moss that's under it. And with others, it's the moss that gets painted and that's the color. So you want new moss placed on, old moss taken off because the old moss sometimes will have like algae that makes the color more green. So if it's like a red colored bit, it doesn't look good at all. On the contrary, if it was a green bit, it does look okay with mo with algae or like real live moss, because most of this moss that we were doing is somewhat live, but almost kind of dead because it was dried out or partially dried out, or it's a drier feeling moss than what many of you may think of when you think of moss. You know, in the backyard, you see this moss, and if you touch it, it's often wet or feels kind of damp and cool. This, it's kind of dry and not really scratchy, but it compared to some other mosses, it's not as cushiony. It's very flat and sheet-like. I also did a day where I went around understanding the tour that I will be taking. And for me, a three-hour tour where I have to remember a whole bunch of plants and many of the plants may be switched out during the season because climate changes and um, throughout the year it goes from like from the winter it's kind of cooler at least cooler in the night and goes to more warmer in the night and not so much a cooler climate but a hot and not really like a desert but if you know Florida you know that it's it's somewhat high humidity and you sweat a lot but also things can be can dry out pretty quick because it's so hot and I think that this week is when I start kind of helping load some of the stuff to be ready to be placed or I do some of the final touches because while Flower and Garden isn't until like early mid-March the stuff being placed for Flower and Garden I think it gets started, some of the things get started I think the end of this week. So if there's any topiary that's the first to go out then those are going to be loaded up first as well as any flowers that are going to be planted in the fields or in beds outside. If you haven't noticed all of these videos that I'm making about this I'm very vague in what I'm saying. You know, I'm not saying exactly what plants are being placed, nor am I telling you what topiaries, if there's any new topiaries, if there's any of the like old classic topiaries, if there's any topiaries that were, I don't know, damaged and I had to, well, 
I kind of am mentioning things that are damaged because if they're if they have deteriorating moss in the center that's somewhat damaged and having to be fixed but it's not so much that it's put out of commission as some things may be anyways before I stop before I keep ram rambling on about this and make a fool of myself saying random things that come to mind see you in the next video I'm not actually sure what this week holds but I will notify you in the next video I may also make a video during the week if I feel free. Feel free to like and comment down below, subscribe up here, and view a video here that YouTube thinks you may like. Bye-bye.